Hey, Whitey, how are you? This is um, Fat Fabulous J, and I have an initial review. Um, and this is going to be on the Finger Comber unit. Um, I bought this last year sometime. I wore it quite a bit, and then I stopped wearing it. But I wore it a good three, four months, um, and that hair held up. So what I did was just tidily put it away like I do all my other lovely lace fronts and I decided to pull it out again now what I did with the um, finger comber wig is I uh, washed it and I uh, twisted it because you know with that particular unit you can wear it as an afro if you like but initially you would want to either braid it as a braid out or as a twist out um, Anybody that watches my channel, I, I, I continuously say I am not a twist out or a braid out girl. I am more of a wash and go. But that particular unit, I actually liked it a lot. It's a little on the short side, but I liked it still. And what I did was add in um, maybe one track all the way around towards the front to give it a little bit more length um, from my uh, kinky, kinky comber weft hair. Um... So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wig on now, and then we're going to style it together, and then we'll both decide on if it's still a yay or a nay. How about that? So, I'm going to take this one off. I left out very little of my hair right here in the front. Okay. And this is the wig here. Okay. I do have pictures of it you know whatever but I gave it like a couple of big chunky twists and as you can see like right here in the front um, this is where I primarily add in another track all the way around um, I was gonna just put it in the back for the length but I decided you know what we're just gonna do it like this so we're gonna take this off This unit gets a lot of raves on here from the natural hair community. I would have to say as well, this is, is a very good wig that's like our hair, okay? So, um, like I said, I'm not really a, a twist out girl, so this is going to be something new for me, period. But let's go. Let's try it out, okay? Okay, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got it lined up just right because I want it more like that. So. Okay. So this is this right here. And then I'm going to take some of that hair that I had out and pull it out right here. Like that. All right, so pull it down a little bit more. So this is how it looks like this. Okay, this is just with the twist in it right now. See, and I got my little hair out right here, which I'm gonna split over something like that once I style it. But yeah, I thought it would look cute with a, a low angled kind of part. So let's see. Let's start taking it down. Now, I twisted this hair about, hmm, maybe about uh, four or five days ago. And I used um, a spray bottle. And I also used, excuse me, um, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhance Smoothie on the hair. Because this hair has a tendency to be a little on the... Uh, rough side if you ask me it's not like super soft like with the urban bob which everybody if you watch my channel you know that I also had uh, purchased the urban bob by the finger comb by finger comber that one is really soft to the touch except for the ends well this is actually just hard all over you know I mean it's just like really rough hair you know, no downplay for it because, you know, in the natural hair community, our hair is not uh, soft. This is more texture-wise. I would probably say it's more of a um, 
Mm. It's not a C, a 4C. It's not that. But I would say maybe it's more of a 4B kind of texture. And my hair is a 4C. So uh, it's a thin kind of 4C. But it's still nevertheless. I mean not a 4C but a 4B. But nevertheless it's still you know. Okay so. I haven't fin fully taken it down yet. But you're getting some idea of how it's going to look. So let's take this side down too. And let's take this down. I did not use um, or I have not used any other product on this hair except for um, the Curl Smoothie. I don't necessarily put oil on the hair um, for many reasons. Maybe because it's synthetic hair and with synthetic hair you want to be careful at how much oil you put on it because it could look uh, really fake and that's not what I want. It's not the look that I'm looking for. So yeah that's primarily what I use on it. Okay so we got all the twist down I believe. This is all the twist. So what we're going to do now is we're going to style this baby up. Let's pull it apart where it needs to be pulled apart. Not a lot but just you know just so we can have like a nice look to it. Okay, that's that. And then we're going to pull this out, pull this up right here. Maybe even that. Okay, so I don't really want to take too much of the front and pull it apart. Okay, so we're going to just probably pull it apart just once right here. One right there. One right there. So, okay. And then we got this. We're going to pull this apart. to the side over here. So, this is how it looks with like a semi kind of bang going on in the front. And then I like to wear like my hair out around the front of it. So, I could still like wear it back a little bit. Um, but you know what? This sucker has held up and um, I'm like impressed because I don't like I said I don't wear these type of styles but I would wear this and rock it yes I would you know I'm gonna turn around and let y'all see the back of it um, 
but what I did do like I said I added in one track of the um, and there you have it you know I added in one track of the kinky curler or kinky kinky comber weft that I had left from the other hair just to give it a little length to it around my face um, and then also and this is my hair as you can see here so we're going to split that out a little bit see I like it a little wild you know not so tamed just a little wild you know shake it a little bit and go yep so this is it guys I don't know what you guys think of it you know but I sort of like this I think the last time I did this I had a part um, down the middle I didn't wear like um no I didn't wear this little piece here wants to stick out so bad but um the last time I had this I did the tutorial it was uh, before I had my surgery so um it was more of a fro kind of look or whatever but I'm like digging this you know I don't know if you, how you guys are feeling about it or whatever but excuse me guys but I'm actually liking it a lot so um you guys let me know what you think about it this is really cute I think so what I'm gonna do though I'm going to um, turn around so you guys can see the back I don't even know what the back looks like so <laughs> but this is the front of it you know um, and like I said I don't really like my hair too tamed I do like it sort of wild a bit so you know and kudos let's shake it again okay so if the wind hits it, you know, I'm still like funky and free. So let me let you see the bag. Let me sit up a little bit. This is the back of it. So I'm no sticker. Ooh, got a little curl sticking everywhere, but. I'm sort of digging it, you know. I mean, I could really rock this somewhere, you know. Shake it and it still looks good. Let's do the shake test again. Oh, yeah, see there. And I don't mind the little pieces sticking out, that's cool. I'm actually digging this. So, you guys, you let me know what you think about it. Like I said, uh, this was purchased last year actually, and um. I got a couple pictures with this um, before I had surgery so you guys will get to see uh, now and then I believe when I did it before um, I had a part down the middle I didn't wear it with a bang um, but this is a to me this wig is whatever style that you choose for it to be at the time that's what it needs to be you don't need to twist it and then try to switch it like I do a lot of my other wigs I'll switch them over for you and say okay well let's see how it looks with the part down the middle kind of thing no whatever you twist it that's how it needs to be I can't see myself like now twisting this or you know shifting it and trying to see how the middle part looks I, it's probably gonna look crazy um, as for the hair, um, the hair is very dry. Um, it's not the softest hair. It's okay. You know, once you put the curl enhanced smoothie on it, it it's fine. You know, it feels a little um, soft or whatever to the touch. But most of it, when you first put it on, it feels... I wouldn't say Brillo Pad-ish. Um, it's just rough. Like real, real, real dry hair. I mean, like, 
you know, like somebody who's probably been swimming in the pool or something for a while. And then all of a sudden they come out and they dry their hair or whatever. And then next thing you know, it's just looking like a, a, a dried up cotton ball. That's pretty much how it is. But once you do a little work, because let's just keep it real. A lot of uh, the um, finger comber hair, you're not just going to get that hair purchase it and just put it on. You're going to have to do put in a little work with that. Um... I have yet put on one wig that I didn't have to put a lot of work to. Um, this one is probably the one that I work with the most. Because like I said, I had to twist it. And I don't like twist outs. But this one I do. This is cute. I wear this um, going out with the girls. I wear it going out with the boyfriend. I think it's really cool. Cute for the uh, summertime, especially in the spring. Because it's like off your neck kind of, you know. Um, but it still has that fullness, that funky flavor that uh, us naturals like. Um, it's not heavy. Um, it's lightweight. Um, you do get air because it's one of those breathable caps. It's not a dome cap. It's a breathable cap. Um, so, yeah. And um, the second thing that uh, I really, one of my issues with it is that it needs to be longer in the front. Um, the original one at, before I added in the track it just wasn't long enough for me um, that's one of the reasons why I added in the track it was not the fullness that I was worried about it was primarily the length I think it's too short in the back and too short in the front um, I don't care about up in here because that gives it the fullness and all that the volume that you need but you know come on that's natural most of us we want some long hair that's why we twisting it and that's why we braiding it and we washing it all the time we want some long hair so if I'm gonna buy me a natural wig it better be longer than the one I got or it better be longer where I want it like on my own natural hair so this was a little too short for me I mean it didn't come way down here this part you see right here this is the hair that I added I believe the natural part of it it just comes to your eyebrows so I think they need to make it a little longer in the front and a little longer in the back I don't know if y'all really care about the sides I don't but I do like a little length and I like it up here in the front and in the back so they need to work on that part but other than that it's a bomb wig I mean it done lasted me now I would say a year because I think I purchased it around June or something last year so I've had it for a year have I worn it the whole year no but I did wear it a lot when I first got it um, and I got a lot of compliments every time I wore people actually thought it was my hair and when people think it's your hair That's a good thing. That's always a good thing. So what do I give finger comber for the finger comber wig? Hmm I'd give it two thumbs up It just needs to be longer. That's all so anyway, you guys watching, y'all let me know what you think about this wig, especially you people in the natural community. Is this something that you would wear? You know, um, would you leave it more with twist kind of look or would you wear it in afro? I mean, you know, it's got its, it's got its advantages to it. You know, I probably could wear it without the twisties, but I don't really care for the afro afro look. All right. Alright, so uh, thanks so much for paying attention to this video. I know it's a little longer than I anticipated. It was supposed to be a lot quicker. But um, if there's any questions that you want to ask or anything like that, leave them in the description box below. Uh, there will be a couple of pictures at the end like I always do. So thanks for staying tuned. Bye.